All right, I can't believe that that... You guys want to see something cool? Payoff's going to be good. All right, look look what I just tweeted. Look what I just tweeted. We founded a game studio. We got funding. We're hiring. Yeah, come work with me. Yeah, get on in here. Come on in. Now, some of you are wondering what my 30-day project was. It was trying to hit the finish line on being able to tweet this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Took me a little more than 30 days to do the final steps, but I want to let you know we are hiring. I'm super excited. Now, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of questions, but I want you to know this is not a game announcement. There is no game announcement. It's just a hiring announcement. All the other stuff, all the other things, I'm going to pretty much say nothing. But I do need to make a joke of, look what I dredged up in the break. Huh? Huh? On theme with the game we're playing today? Huh? That's pretty good. Huh? That's pretty good. So, if you have interest in learning more, applying to the job, you can go to my, my Twitter, and it's right there. There it is. There, look, day9.applytojob.com. I literally can't get over how funny applytojob.com is as a URL slug, but there it is. But there it is. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm seeing, like, this huge flood of people losing their minds in chat, so thank you, everyone. Silent One says, I have no experience in anything game development. Oh, perfect. We should actually have a extra role that is called the Silent One role, where what you do is you apply and you tell us how you're going to contribute to the project. So, so here's the thing. Um, I'm going to be bringing this up all the time in the next few weeks. All the time. I'm going to be talking about this tweet. I'm going to keep showing this. And so... Most of the time when I'm on air, though, I'm just going to be playing the games. But if you hear me uh, repeatedly saying it, it's because I want as many people as possible to know about this and apply. So if you're interested, or if you would like to link a friend, post in a place, feel free to. We'd be thrilled to hear it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's finally out i i i <laughs> there is a point where when it comes to any task you can feel like sisyphus just constantly pushing uphill where it feels like you get there's 10 percent left and there's one percent left and there's 0.1 percent left and there's 0.01 percent left and you're just like will this ever actually happen and then there it is and there it is look at that one more time. I'm just going to, ooh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, my God. I'm so tickled. I'm so tickled. Now, now again, again, Tangerina, so you asked us some questions about some specifics. We're, I'm not talking anything about the game at this point because, you know, obviously games change a bunch in development and there's a bunch of, you know, there's a bunch of possibilities. And for me, the way I'm going to go about it is I would rather say nothing for a long time and then say here's everything with concreteness instead of say, hey, here's a you know band of possibility. Just because it takes a huge amount of work to navigate that band and it's, you know, much more straightforward to just, you know, not say anything. So that way, you know, it's, it's more clear for you. It's more clear for me. It's simpler that way. So, yeah. Oh, and by the way, uh, for those of you who are curious, it, it is a different company from Day9 TV, even though you saw the huge Day9 TV logo there. It's a different company. It's its own little separate thing over there. But not sharing what the name of any of the stuff is. So. Blue Eagle says, do you plan on vlogging the process of starting up a game studio? Not not especially. I, I'm, I'm interested in when more things come out. Talking about retroactively what happened, but not as much the in the progress thing because as you see on this channel all the time, when I start talking about something, there starts to be an interesting back and forth discussion that happens. There starts to be all this momentum that the vlogging content does in terms of a conversation. Uh, and so 
what, what again, I would rather do is instead of spending time doing that content, doing those conversations, just want to focus on the game. Spend the time focusing on the game when it is game time hours. And Odd Blob, oh my god, 23 subs for a grand total of 100. Mwah, Odd Blob. A happy Friday to you. I look forward to getting murdered by my first Lovecraftian fish in your name today. How are you doing, Odd Blob? Let's play the game. Let's play the video game, shall we? All right, encyclopedias, just that I got the stingray up. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, too. Hell yeah. See, see, you, you may have seen me off-screen typing a little bit. You may have seen me off-screen typing a little bit. Um, it's because the tweet was coming. The tweet was coming. I wasn't tweeting, but, like, Eric was tweeting, preparing to make sure everything's working properly. Underdogs is, uh, um, are you bearing the lead here? What's your title to new company? I, I am, my title is CEO, but functionally I'll be the game director. So. Just, just in case any of you are wondering, will you be working with me or will I just sort of be off in a corner? In fact, a lot of the times why I have been late in the last bit of time, probably related to that. Probably related to that. And some percentage of the time related to my pets. There it is. CEO Pug, that's right. And I'm also the CEO of Day9 TV. I'm the chief executive officer of myself. Who's interested in a Lovecraftian horror fishing game? I am. Dredge is one of these games that I had almost no knowledge of. Very, very little, other than Team 17, who famously work on the Worms games. Mwah, who doesn't love Worms and Worms Armageddon and all those great games we grew up playing, even on the Dreamcast. Team 17 published Dredge. And when it came out, a few people on release day said, wow, Sean, you might really want to check out this game. Happens pretty frequently when there's a new indie title that drops. A lot of indie games don't have the usual spike of popularity of a AAA and then shh, sort of taper off. They often kind of have a, oh, whoa, and then they start kind of, oh, growing up. Dredge, I have had an absolutely ridiculous amount of growth in people requesting that I play this game. And I took a very brief look at a trailer and went, I'm streaming that. And that is what I know. A uh, second question that I have is, should I do controller or should I do mouse and keyboard? I'm going to start with mouse and keyboard unless someone really feels strongly about it. Angler wanted. Hey, look, it's a streamer. <laughs> Hey! Just, uh, like this, and instead of it being a steering wheel, it's a mouse and keyboard. Ah, uh, yes, the lighthouse. An iconic, mysterious object. We just got done playing Broken Pieces. Lighthouse prominently featured in that game. Morning light fills your eyes, and you try to sit upright. But you're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. It really is a streamer. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. His hands are huge. Ah, welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Yeah, look, this tummy, by the way, just under this camera, like, just off frame, this is exactly what I look like. In except instead of a white shirt, it is my bare, hairy, bare tummy. That's right, we're in Winnie the Pooh mode. I shrink the shirt, I don't care. You only see me from the mid-chest up, it's fine. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was a shining right at you. Ah, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. See, so that's, that's how you sound like you're a refined, sophisticated person. You emphasize syllables later in the sentence. You talk about details of finance. You get concerned about harassment, right? You just switch around what you're emphasizing and... You'll immediately be in an upper crust society in no time. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. 
Hmm. Hmm. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Alright. Praise be to a game that just gets you into the game. Praise be to a game that gets you into the game. There's only so much cutscene I want to see before I want a game. Oh, uh, W. S. Alright. Oh, like this. Oh my god, look at that. Move the fishing spot, looking for splashes on the surface. Alright, press F to fish. Start fishing. Everyone hold on. That was my wife. She's leaving. And she's taking the car. All right. Uh, stock medium coastal. Oh, look. Oh, and I can just dump it right in here. Can I Can I rotate? Oh, my God. Look, look at the little visceral fishing. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. I mean, I'll just keep fishing, right? Why not? Dude, I love fishing minigames. Shit. Stock low. All right. X to leave. Now, that's a really subtle touch. The time slowed down a ton. All right. Resume. Time slowed down a ton when the animation was going on. Oh, oh, we got COD. It's Tetris time. Dude, I'm such a fisherman. Are you kidding me? This is all I did in Stardew Valley. During the animation, it stops the time. Time advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. Yes. Great. It's just start it's just starting me off. We're just fishing, baby. Keep fishing, why not? Oh, I see. So if it's if it's high or if it's medium, that determines like the width slash difficulty of doing the fishing. What is that over there? Look how lovely this is. Oh, that's just a buoy. Alright. Select your lights by holding E. You toggle them with a right click. Or is that a left click? What? Okay, I figured it out now. Shapes in the deep. You don't have the right equipment for this spot? Alright. Is this not a buoy? Alright, well you know what? I'm going back in. I'm a coward. Alright. I mean, I'm getting there. This game is not messing around. I don't know says, oh god, we're so far out. Oh, shit. Are you kidding me? 
All right, you know what? We're, we're going into town here. Oh my god, being a fisherman is scary. Are you kidding me? All right, I'm, I'm getting in. All right, Doc. Back to your driving skill class begins. Are you kidding me? I played Grand Theft Auto 1. You will never get better practice for Wazdy style driving, man. You look lost, fisherman. Are you after somewhere to sell your catch? Greater Marrow is on the west side of the bay. Keep an eye on the lighthouse, eh? Wouldn't want to lose sight of it for too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Little Marrow. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewelry, and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Can I just say, I'm, I'm such a huge fan of unnecessary polish. I'm obsessed with unnecessary polish. I think that's how you hit trans... Ow, I bit my tongue. Oh my god, my tongue! I, I think that's how you hit transcendence in media. Um, you know, like... The, the, the quality of seeing... As you zoom in... Or when I click on the trader... It could have just showed the image of this turkey, and I could just talk to him, but instead it, like, just zooms in a little bit. Just a little tiny bit of unnecessary polish. Hello? Is that... No. Ah. I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes are not what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Um... Oh, shit. I lost my fish. Shit. What's Tab do? Cabin? Oh, my God. Messages? Morning of the second day of the honeymoon. And our first day proper. We know that this couldn't have been written by Shade. Today, we're sailing around the islands and inlets. At the back of greater... Oh. Oh. Oh, the back of Greater Mara. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. I love rocks. Why is everything in my life so boring? Despy, if you, I swear to God, you need to get off the camera. Despy, get, scoot back. Hey, get, get back, get back. All right, great. My children. All right. All right. Anyways, my cat is fully curled up around the back of the camera. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of on the rods. Pun intended. He renamed the boat last night, Yuli. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Huh. <sighs> Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. Sorry, I found the tone halfway through. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. It's a it's a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic instead of talking to me about rocks. All right. Uh, how about pursuits? Catch a fish for the day. Met the mayor of Greater Marrow, who sent me out to catch some fish and find my bearings. Seems nice enough. Warned me to be back before nightfall, though. Said something about fog. Bit dramatic. Does the, does our protagonist not know the name of the game? Oh my god. Task, the mayor asked me to catch some fish, then head back to Greater Marrow, which I will do on the morrow. Uh, encyclopedia. All right. I like data, but we're not reading that today. Oh, I see. My other cat is not this light. I mean, I am so happy that my little gray cat, Despy, is, like, doing better, but my god, these two cats have just been torturing me. There we go. Now I have an evenly, evenly coated bright light face. So, 
E and Q navigate through this. Wait a minute. I can't rest here for the night? Dude, as asterisk. Careful about those spoilers. And e things that I don't no notice are we're also going to count as spoilers. It's right there. It's midnight. Why did I choose to do these things? Go! What is that? Nope, no more fishing for day nine. Hey, we got it. We're docking. We're docking. Was that a fin or a rock? I don't know. I'm a coward. I wasn't looking. F. Oh. You step onto the dock at Greater Mara. The mayor is waiting nearby. I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. These voices are drifting by the minute. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was completely wrecked to ship. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel. Yours to own. But... You'll need a loan. <laughs> you thought you escaped that shit in Animal Crossing, huh? -uh. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so consider it a loan. Spelled L-W-N. But I want to make this easy for you. Hmm. Until your debt is repaid, a... Eh? Give me your fish. We'll go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap... I own you now. All right, selling fish. All right, so got it. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Ah, <laughs> profit. All right, uh, my storage fishmonger. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air because it's just—it's a fish shack. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, huh? Surprised they found one so fast. Hey, what happened to the other one? He, uh... Well, it takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyways, to business. I'll pay for fish. Huge fish means huge dollars, okay? That's why, that's why they always push the foot long on you. Some species are just worth more, too. You like my Elcor voice? <laughs> other towns on other islands might pay you different. But while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you've got. Sell all fish? What's this? Peculiar engine? Hmm. Hmm. Tab? Escape? The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Profits. Research parts? To storage. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright. Mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit and spend your money. Rabbit Champs, I haven't tuned into your stream in forever. I have watched you since day nine daily. 100, your story changed my life. Thank you so much for all these years of content. Mwah, Rabbit Champ. Mwah! I have gone from being a competitive StarCraft player to fishing. It's been a, it's been a slow and steady approach towards relaxation. All right, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, I only have $35 remaining. Wow, that was a trash ship. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to work. Huh. Ah, you must be the new fisherman, huh? I like to make improvements to your vessel. It's out in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here, so payment is up front and everything takes time to install. Time. Because time is money, I'm still allowed to do this. Day nine is mayor. No, no, I'm I'm some 
I'm just some fucking guy in this game. Oh, hey, Odd Blob. Also, if you take any damage on the rocks or any damage, I can patch it up, but only mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, splintered, scratched. Just take, ugh, take a look around, she remember. The bigger the equipment, the harder it falls. So plan ahead. Weighted line? Simple skimmer. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Stop knocking my stuff around, little cat. Alright, so, uh, let's see. Do I want to repair all? I mean, that's probably the right thing to do. Install time, two hours. Enter repair mode. Oh, I see, because I can repair things individually. Rest. Oh, I rest at the dock. Let's research. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, use parts to research new equipment. Researched equipment will appear for sale in shops. I have one research part. So I can get a hydraulic rod for faster, faster fishing speed. Uh -huh. Oh, ah, uh her, -huh. oh. Abyssal? My cat has knocked my camera again. All right. I'm gonna need to rotate this, darling. Don't mind me. <laughs> All right, I still look kind of normal. All right, so engines. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? 100%. Research complete. Improved outboard engine. And it said uh, it's now available for purchase. Pots, nets. All right, back. Undock. All right. All right. Yo. 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 I think I'm ready to go. 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 I I just adore how this game throws you into the gameplay of it. I love it so much. There's just not that much tutorialization. Is it a new camera or just taped? It's fucking taped, okay? <laughs> QQR says, good day, sir. A weird question. You probably got a thousand times before. Which game do you think is the most original? Hmm. The most original game. I mean, I don't actually know if I have a... As a quick question, what's what's this area? This is an actual question. It's just a holding space. I see. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. Back to no back seating and no spoilers. I don't know if I necessarily have an opinion about the number one most original game. This is it. Because I think that... Um, you don't have the right equipment. All right, great. There's a lot of games that do wildly original things. I mean, some that are really wild and out there that come to mind would be like Katamari Damachi. The game where you're a ball and you roll over objects in the world and the larger you get, the larger, or every time you roll over an object, it sticks to you. So your ball becomes larger. And as it gets larger and larger and larger, you can roll over bigger and bigger things. So at the start, you're like rolling over pieces, like grapes and forks and stuff. And then eventually you can roll over the entire house that you were in and it'll just get absorbed into you. Ah, it was really clever. But I actually think in terms of originality, here's the thing. Here, here, here's what I really like. I am going to co-opt your question, Kiwi Co Kiwi Coder, whoever the fuck you are, Kiwi Coder, whose name I keep tripping over. I love when any game picks an idea and just goes all in on it, commits like crazy to it. I was just talking about this with Path of Exile, which is a game about progression. And there's so many different types of progression and, you know, the recent Crucible League allows your weapons to have skill trees, there's just more and more and more and more and more stuff. It commits to it. 
Factorio is a game about automation and it commits to that. You're not just doing automation in terms of the conveyor belts and assembling. Then you start doing it with like fluid processing and then you need to start like finding, you know, um, oh, 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 oh. Condition fresh? Hell yeah. Oh. And this is cute. It didn't actually explain to me how it worked. It just happened to be gold. And then I was allowed to make that conclusion myself. Can I move this around? Probably not. Um, and then, like, in Factorio, you start having trains that need automation. And then you start finding ways that you can create little tiny miniature programs with logical gates. And I, I just love how committed the game is to doing that. Oh, disturbed water. And I wonder if there's a way to see what kind of bubbly fishy babies there are in there. All right, can't do that. So I'm going to go out here to the left of these rocks. Don't have the right equipment for this spot. By the way, let me just remind all of you, no backseating. If I am missing something, just let me miss it. Let me miss it. I'm trying to think of some other games that really go under the uh, uh, Celeste. I was actually just talking to a friend about that Celeste really goes all in on and commits to the idea of this like challenging platforming. And it, it, it just doesn't do it half speed. It, like, really commits hard to that stuff. Alright, getting the fuck out of here. Alright, some other games that were really committed to the idea that they were going for in a really dramatic and large way. Golden well, Boots, some Mark Safe Passage. Yeah, okay, that is a boot. Brief respite to the gloom of the night. Fishmonger. I've had a special order come through from a customer. Exciting opportunity. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Yeah, Dwarf Fortress is another game that I think really commits to whatever idea it's going for. It goes like super duper all in on that. Um, I said whatever idea it's committed to, but like again, the, the world simulation thing. Uh, God, I'm trying to think of some other ones. A lot of the FromSoft games, like Bloodborne, Elden Ring, yeah, EVE Online. That's a good one. They asked for one gulf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them in when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to catch those. Shipwright should be able to sort it for you. Gotta sell them all. Turn to town. Mm. Catch is shallow. Fishing speed plus 40%. Yo, I am saving up for that. All right. Okay, so, yo, we, we're actually going to just spend some time doing some basic baby fishing for babies. That's what I think I'm going to do. One flounder, one eel. Ooh. Yeah, Baba is used another game that went really hard on its ideas. Really like that. Really love that. Now, I do want to talk about some of the things that I think are just marvelous about this game. And, you know, I... I many of you said I would enjoy this. You're right. 
A hunched woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? Come to fish. Come to see the area. I've come to meet people. None of that shit is true. I've come to find out where the tentacles are, okay? Which I guess means I've come to see fish. <sighs> There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Oh, the mayor. Oh, shit. Here we are. Oh, just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Give me this. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please, be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. It's literally just ham. Alright. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Actually, I did. I have a map. I love maps. I love maps. This is it. This is great. This is the game. I'm going to soak it in. I'm going to soak it in. Yeah, so first, one of the things that I really like about the way this game starts is it's very reminiscent of Outer Wilds, where in Outer Wilds, you just get a little curious and you start doing some tasks. Like in this game, we're trying to just upgrade our ship to do better ship things. The game is giving us little miniature short-term problems. Here you can fish. Hey, you don't have the equipment to fish here. And then I have money and I can unlock a fishing rod that fishes in the things that I wasn't able to fish yet. It's be very tiny, short-term little goals, but it's thrusting me right into the game. And there's clearly lots of weird, mysterious things going on here. Oh yeah, deliver the package, sure. Sure. It's just nice to have these little goals. Shades isn't doing it without overdoing the tutorials. Yeah, because I mean like, you've probably heard me rant a thousand and one times about what's the mental model of the game. How do you let me know what it is that I want to want? What are my, not the broad goal of the game, but what are like my short-term goals? What makes me feel like I'm making progress? And that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to come out and trumpet to the player's face, do these things, these are your goals, you know? This game is just doing a really balanced job of subtly guiding me towards some things. Hmm, what delivery? Let's see here. I don't remember this guy's voice. Tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from you. Oh yeah, nice and fresh. It'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, huh? Mm -hmm. Gives you money. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls up a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're drowning. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Okay, I got a question for you. I, I I like a lot of people, but I'm also just not terribly social. Like, I don't see a bunch of humans all the time. I'm not, like, going out and, like, hitting up the party scene or whatever. And has this ever happened to you that you're, you're, you're talking to someone at a social event, and you're just like, yeah, no, that sort of stuff was, that was kind of tough, but, you know, I'm all right. And they're like, if you ever want to talk about it, I'm here for you. And that's great. And you go like, oh my god, no thank you, I really appreciate that. And they're like, no really. You can talk to me. And I'm like, no, I mean, I've shared what I want to share, and you know, I've known you for like six hours, so like, you know, I'm... But thank you, I like really appreciate that, I'll keep that in mind. Sean, seriously. If there's ever anything that you want to share with me, let me know. Is this what happened to you? Andrew Bulls has had it happen to a couple times to me and it freaked me out. I'm, I'm glad it's not like me. Yeah, like the no seriously. I need to 
I need you to know that you're going to share that personal information with me. I'm like, I don't fucking know, I don't fucking know. Trader, my storage. Oh. Oh, that's right. This is Trinket Man. Oh, I can also rest here? Fuck yeah. I didn't see that before. Alright, I'm gonna find out how much cash I have in Jiffy. Oh. I mean, this is just so pretty out here, but I'm not going to venture very far. Oh, shit. I hit X. Tetris. This is so satisfying. Things that I think are pleasing generally all connect to quick approximation. Gotcha. Just t trying to time when I'm in this little zone. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Inner fist is you dredging, bud? But I'm dredging, baby. Call me baby dredge, buddy. Yeah, I was like, that lighthouse better be visible, man. Crafty Fig Tree says, I've known a lot of people who find it easier to open up to strangers about trauma they had than maybe people they know because, you know, it feels too vulnerable. 100%. I am, I, I actually would fall under that category. Deposit. Dude, I'm so good at fishing. I, mean, I can sense immense jealousy in the chat. Just how good I am at managing these rotating fish. Ice Fenrir, thanks for the 50 months in a row. Says, I always enjoy your insights into games. Thanks for many years of streaming. Kind of you to say, Ice Fenrir. I'm also very well aware that I change my mind frequently and I'm often wrong and view it in a large way as a big old burble. I'm glad to hear it doesn't come across as too ranty. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, I'm gonna go for this guy. Oh. Oh shit, we got squads. Oh, I see the timer is going while I'm squid fishing. Ah, fucking run, run! Head is blocking bottom of inventory. I think that's fine. I think you just know that I know how to fish. Alright. We're all thinking it. Sodo 12 fish, debt adjusted. How much more do I have? The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news! Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I have granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. We might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad to have chosen you to be here with us. Uh. This is the, oh, it's the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking space, attachments, equipment, even superior balls. Oh, that says hulls. Well, I think a great addition to any ship is underneath the chassis. The superior balls that we attached. <laughs> we'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of things. Start punching trees right away. Don't worry, I've played Minecraft, I know what to do. How do I get materials? Huh. There's plenty of decent materials around the coast, from various shipwrecks and the like. I I'm sure you'll find a way to get it. Materials assigned towards upgrades will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Freudian slip. Oh, indeed. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, hold on, I accidentally clicked out of here. 
More, more like I don't know how to read. <laughs> Select an upgrade project to begin adding materials to it. Okay. Net space. I'm going to get the engine one because I got to go fast. Modifies two cargo spaces to also hold engines. Oh. Oh. Okay, wait. So this costs that much, but it needs these materials. I'm going to go back, and I'm not yet going to build these things. Let me first go to my cabin and see what this book is. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Mara. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. This sounds like a teenager that just got into a fender bender with his mom's car, and he's like, you don't understand. The car was the same color as the road. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around, and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat. Uh, from the boat remain... Rem he has been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He is paranoid and he performed the steps incorrectly. I've never known him to be so superstitious. Reading is really getting away from me today. Alright. Sustainable fishing. I haven't read this yet. Reading. Past time to read? Okay, look. I appreciate gamifying things, but that is so funny. Select your active book to read. If this were real life, I would have five books in orange that have stayed at 0% for five months. <laughs> Let's see how it pans out in the game. Encyclopedia. Ooh, interesting. Forecock. Rises from the depths at night to feed. Or be fed upon. Alright, so... Turn to town. How much money do I have? 301? Alright, so this needs three hours. I get the I get the sense that I don't need to sleep. Oh, this costs 200? Farts. That's fine. I will get extra fish. Catch us coastal. Catch us shallow. Feels almost as I have ten books I've bought for the past six, seven years, didn't even open them. Dude, yeah, I just, I like buying books. Uh, I mean, what happens to me is I get volume one of a comic, and I really enjoy it. So I get volumes two, three, and four. And when I'm halfway through volume three, I'm like, this shit fucking rules. And then I order 25 volumes. <laughs> and I really do not make it past, like, you know, volume eight or nine. Uh, okay, let me exit. And uh, you know what? I'm exhausted. I'm going to sleep for like 25 minutes or whatever it is. Alright. What can I do for you? Hey, what... Uh, oh, I, oh, I do... I want to ask about the wider... The, I want to do what I clicked on. Certainly. Is there somewhere in particular you wish to know more about? The Gale Cliffs. Well, the main port over there is a place called Moonfall. It's right on the approach to the cliffs. You can't miss it. It's a whaling town, but I haven't heard much talk of it these days. I think quite a few people have left one way or another. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? This amazing basin. It's not just a quality basin. It's a stellar basin. Hmm. Oh, quite a popular tourist destination. There's a resort on the Atoll, built on top of a beautiful coral reef. Atoll is like, um, it's like a ring. It's like where the land is a ring, and then it's sort of internally flooded. I don't know why I'm explaining that to you. <laughs> I saw the word atoll and I was like, I know what it is, but you don't. And I'm going to give you the gift of my knowledge. Please, thank me with a subscription. I'm sure there's a wide variety of fish there. Maybe you fancy getting your hooks into some of those. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? Um, the, the Chonky Strand. Hmm, I don't think there's much to tell you. It's just a tangled mass of trees. Don't know why I got all southern at the end of that. It's often blanketed in a thick fog, even during the day. You'll want good lights and a good sense of direction. Where do I buy the good sense of direction, huh? Ask the person playing Dark Souls for the first time. 
Is there another area you'd like to discuss? No, oh. oh, yes, the Devil's Spine. It's really quite exciting, an active volcano amongst a city of ancient ruins. I must caution against sailing there, however. The ruins lie low in the water and would surely tear through your... Oh. <laughs> it would tear through your balls. <laughs> We can, we can install superior balls on this boat. I'm like, wow, what an indie gem. I really think this is going to hit a million copies. <laughs> Not to mention the aforementioned volcano could erupt at any moment. You can occasionally hear it rumbling from here. Much like my dog when I'm eating dinner. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? That's all for now. Now, what else can I do for you? Uh, what happened to the last fisherman? Hmm, last fisherman? Oh, he was quite unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. This is a real boomer kind of attitude here. Oh, he was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground on the reef, even in broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for the repairs. No, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. By the way... Don't leave me hanging on this high five. Now, what else can I do for you? Um, so, what I'm going to do is that now it's the morning. I'm going to undock and fish the shit out of anything that I can. Because I now have all the equipment that I need. And I'm now understanding, too, that if I am more accurate with pressing F to pay respects... That will save me time while I'm fishing, allowing me more hauls within an individual day. And as a professional StarCraft gamer, you know I love a good efficiency. Ooh, shallow. Flounder. I can't believe I guessed the fish from the silhouette. Well, it's because I play Stardew Valley. Dinga, dinga, dinga. Ariel's going to be pissed. <laughs> ah, dredge. Ah, farts. Shapes in the water. See, that's really good. I don't even know if there were dredge areas before. Let me see if I can min-max this a little bit. I actually don't think that there's any way that I can... Oh, uh, shit. Leave. I'm going to go sell this stuff. So, I haven't explored a lot of the other locations yet. Oh yeah, this is just showing you that I have stuff. Great. Um, I haven't explored a lot of the other areas yet. And I, I love the way that the game is making me go to locations simply by tickling my curiosity. They're just there on the map. There's no, hey Sean, part one of the quest is going to be here. Thanks for doing that. Part two, I need you to go over here. It's just go there if I want. I'm allowed to do it. And I like this feeling of I'm making a little plan for myself. My little plan. Have you got any fish? Just leave whatever you have here. All right, come back when you have everything. Had a regular business. Sell to fishies. Yo, shipwright. Uh, Give me this improved outboard engine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Click and hold. All right, return to town. Who's ready to go, go, go? So tomorrow morning when I wake up, I'm going to start exploring other locations. And look at me. Who's a little rocket ship now? Who's a little rocket ship now? Rocket ship 9 TV, where you learn to be a literal rocket ship. Going out to the sea. Yeah, I, I, I believe that there has been this long era of accessibility, simplification, clarifying, smoothing. That I think is, in a lot of ways, terrific. Some of the greatest games of all time have come out recently. Blah, blah, blah. But I think that there has been so much of a 
industry push to make things unbelievably accessible. But there's some there's some cool opportunity that I feel like is just out there, waiting for someone to make some really interesting. Oh, what is this? A black grouper? Okay, so how do I make more room rumor for the grouper? Yeah, it's these little points that are a bit of a pain. So if I do like this, I actually don't think that that gives me much more room for four by fours. Yeah, so maybe what I should do is I should do a little thing like this. And then I think that I can't get more than another one. Yeah. Yeah. Someone that did a lot of math around polyominoes. This is not going to fit. Oh. Oh, mother. Oh, shit. Fuck. Shit. Shit, fuck. Where's the lighthouse? Country boat. Take me home. Dude, I was not looking. I almost crunched right into that shit. Ow! Oh my god, I really need to pay attention. Oh shit, my boat is on fire. This boat is on fire. Your boat is looking damaged. I can repair it if you like. Oh! Oh shit. I found this book out back be useful to you. Fishmonger reaches under the counter and hands you a damn battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. Ship right to please repair. Nice, nice, nice. I was just talking about something before I started clonking my boat into stuff. Don't remember what it was. Devastating. to unlock and keep reading sustainable fishing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think there's been this push for clarifying and smoothing and making it easier and kind of shifting along more people into the top of the funnel and so on and so on, but I, I actually think that there's this quality of obfuscation and mystery and curiosity that has been underdone in recent games. I think the FromSoft games do a brilliant job of this, where they don't bludgeon you with a bunch of objectives. You kind of start going out on your own. Outer Wilds is probably the best recent example of a fully curiosity-driven game that's just an amazing, continuous experience of wondering where, where something is, or what something is, and you get there, and it's a, a payoff. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little break, take a little rest, take a little sleepo, and then get up, and undock, and go. Yeah, Outer Wilds is a complete 10 out of 10 for me. I want to go over there. I'm going to try to dock over there. Technically, I can dock anywhere. Dredge? No, not in the deep. The Days of Police Quest is over. Yeah. Old graphic adventure games, you had absolutely no clue what the hell was happening at any point in time ever at all. All seeing cod? Finish Outer Wilds on stream? I did not. And in, in fact, the game was too scary for me. <sighs> Dude, I'm getting stressed. Like, I can feel my heart rate rising thinking about those tornadoes. Because I grew up in Kansas, and we dealt with tornadoes. And tornadoes are so scary. So I actually have, like, a deep fear of tornadoes. So there's, like, a planet where there's enormous tornadoes. And you know, any of you who've seen my Subnautica playthrough know that that, oh my god, the deep sea stuff freaks me out. Yeah, Crumbling Farm Azula was legitimately difficult for me to play through.
Ding, ding, ding. Oh, this feels nice. Look at this. Look at the Tetris King. Look at the Tetris King. Look at this. Bing bong, your pal shot. Oh, perfect packing. See, I have an achievement. It's right here. You can't say I don't have it. Yeah, I mean, Subnautica, I might actually legit play as a... In full-out baby mode. Man, look at my sweet drift. Blackstone Isle. Oh, this is so cool. No, but like seriously, I it, uh, are there are, are there things like that for you where if you just sit and think about it a little bit, your heart starts to just like oh. And I'm not talking about if we look back at things that we said ten years ago at school. Like yeah, no, I'm, we all have a thousand of those things. I'm talking about like if you think about present tense, do something. Just do 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 do. Oh, 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 oh my god. Door is locked. Hmm. Workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. Yeah, I'm gonna go inside. I have a boat. I'm powerful. It's locked. So, is my storage... This is an actual backseat question I'm curious about. Um, if I dump a bunch of fish in here, when I, let's say I put all the fish that's on my boat into the storage locker, if I go back to the town, it just teleports there. Is that right? Storage is global? Hell yeah. Now, if, can I control click, control right click, shift right click? Now, I assume. Pro gamer moves. Jeez, this is why StarCraft is played in 4x3. This shit is a nightmare to navigate. Oh my god. Norton Tower. Unduck. Middle click to storage. Okay. Alright, we're fine, man. We're completely fine, dude. Ooh, it's global? That feels bad, I'm out. I mean, I assume what happens is that you're gonna go fishing from location to location. Because I'm actually going to go to this. Oh, that's... That's that island? Oh, shit. So I'm actually just literally inaccurate here, huh? Alright, that looks been depleted. Generally, I think the process of just, like, upgrading a little boat, and becoming better, and just this little loop... So satisfying. Leave. So I need a dredge type. Is that right? All right. So that that's our next goal. Is going to be able to do. I'm going southwest. So we actually. There's south, so we want to be going east. No, we want to be going west. Holy shit. Okay. I misunderstood a great deal of things. Follow that tornado! Oh! Okay, Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, man. Oh, my God. What in the fuck is that? What the holy shit? This game is terrible. It's the worst game ever made. I despise the developers. They're assholes. Tornadoes into eyes? Oh my god, thank god it's not in like a tight first or third person perspective. Oh my god. I see you, Damon. Whew. Alright. Fishmonga. Alright, so if I do this, wh what are you doing? What are you do? What are we doing? Hi. Hi. Well, hello. How was your nap? Hi, princess. 
Did you hear dad panicking? Did you hear the blind panic for dad? Some fish prefer deeper waters, while others stick to the shallows. If you're looking for something specific, it's important to know what depth you're working with. Alright, dude, like, this game is great, but we're gonna see if I can make it. We're gonna see if I can make it. Alright, okay, are, are we going? What? No, that's not... No. No. Here, look, you can go to this side. This side is free. Alright, I... What Despy wants is getting a little fuzzy by the day. All right, let's see if we can do this. Come on, man. What if I do this? Can I, like, force it to slowly change its focus? Yeah. There we go. Hey, now you're chewing on the headphone cable. Why you torture me? <laughs> Jacob Godserp, thank you for the five gifted subs on this day of hell. All right. Turn to town. There you go. Alright, so I need to... Uh, return to town. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger? He grins. Oh, you hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Oh yeah, I forgot this guy's voice. Oh, now, this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open! From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Isn't that interesting, Despers? Well, I've never seen that before. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay for the fish, too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Turn to town. A man is looking at you through your cabin windows. His face is mostly in shadow. <laughs> hey, if you're having a hard time, you can talk to me about it, he mutters again and again and again. I know what you took to the fishmonger, and I'll be clear. I know what he extracted. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I knew to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have business proposition. I'll be waiting. All right. Shipwright. Tonight. I'd like a light. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Okay, just chill. Just, just chill. Just... Just chill. Okay. Alright, I'm fucking sick. Alright, so... Probably gonna go see this turkey in the daytime, huh? Alright! Oh, it's time to rest! All right, uh, rest and talk. Well, actually, what's in this thing? In the cabin pursuits. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do next. Perfect. Back. Map. Yeah. Encyclopedia. The all-seeing cod. Number 72. Wait, how, how high does it go up? I assume it's up to 128 because it says that. There, there's some freaky turkeys out here, man. There's some absolute freaky turkeys. All right. Where is my window? All right, and we're back. Determines a chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Ah. Okay, so we are we're going to bed. We're going to bed. Hyrus Pixel says, I just joined. Is this game like Sunless Sea? You know, I actually never got around to playing Sunless Sea. My understanding is that Sunless Sea is roguelike in nature, I think. Story-driven roguelike, something like that. Oh. Fuck. Farts. All right. Alright. 
Oh, I, oh, that's right. I need to research to work towards that kind of dredge. So let's see, it's similar theme, but not similar mechanics. Yeah. So I'm actually going to go around this island. So I was thinking about this a lot when I was playing Project Zomboid, where that game has a pretty... It, 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 each day that you're playing in Project Zomboid takes like... I'm just going to arbitrarily say like 15 minutes, just to make the math easier. So you have like 15 minutes or so of time to wander around, leave your base, go find a... Um, Wow, that's a weird one. But that was part of my, my task. You leave, you get some supplies, you fight some zombies, you come home, you deposit, you kind of check in on things. And each day actually takes, you make like a tiny modicum of overall process, but the act of just like picking off these zombies one by one, making sure you have enough supplies, making sure all these questions you have are properly answered and that you're moving along. You know, the the this game is giving this very pleasing fishing activity that I feel like in, in, a, in a weird way specifically works because um, or, or the, the mystery works because this fishing minigame is just like very very pleasing and it creates a really satisfying loop that buys time I don't know where I'm going to fit this I found the value So now I'm going to go to the turkey. It should be over here. Look how fast I am. I'm jettisoning. F. <laughs> a man is standing in a doorway watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. Oh, I need to collect. You came good. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. I'll offer you gold and research progress. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. <sighs> These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. <sighs> Could it possibly be a buffet? He said the word, oh my God. I, I will say, I think dredge is the best named game in years like it's the best name it's a unique evocative precise name that captures like the mechanic and the tone it's so good you need not give up your fishing career i'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make it yeah can we excellent decision prepare the equipment immediately dredge cane the relics you're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a box, a key. I'd encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Alright. Alright, I'm undocking. Show me the wrecks. I want to be where the shipwrecks are. I feel like these guys play tested this game and we're like, we're going to scream at the player to go home when it gets dark. And instead, players just do what I do and they just keep staying out later and later and later because it's like, it's going to be fine. It's all right. 
Oh! Wait, so how does this work? Oh, I see, and there's the dredge right there. Oh, it's fucking late, isn't it? Okay, I was futzing with the mechanic. Holy shit, bronze belt buckle. Get me the fuck out of here. Holy shit, remember what I just said? Go, 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 fucking go. Shit, I always confuse these two. Fucking run! Ah! Ah, it's red. Ah, I'm focused. I'm dialed in. Absolutely dialed. The jukes. There's like a shipwreck right there, dude. I'm going in. Uh... In a state of blind panic, I made it home and everything was fine. Cabine. Boy suits. Search for relics. I mean, there, there's something that I think is really marvelous about how it introduced the, like, so there's a sequence of you find a certain kind of fish where the handkerchief is there and a mysterious man asks you for it. Like, it's really cool that it's not like a quest was handed to me. It's like I did actions and something weird happened and I was like, huh, I wonder what that is. And then the game starts to answer that curiosity. It builds more curiosity. Ah, it's fucking cool. Fishmonger. Have you got any fish? Whatever. Oh, 46 buckaronis. Oh, a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Not so many people fishing these days. They only feed at night. Well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. Alright. Was a good howl. Yeah, I I'm gonna go to the ship right first. Is there something else? Throw me a bit more of your engines. Take a look through this book on the house. Great. Can I can I move these? No no no. That's that's the research tab here. I don't have any research parts though. Oh, I see. This is coastal and shallow. Because right now we only had the um, a coastal thing and a shallow thing. All right. All right. <sighs> ah, what is it? Ah! You know me, shipwrecks. She eyes you suspiciously. The spot near the back of Greater Marrow, where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there. By the way, Jimbo, I would appreciate no back seating. We're winding our way through. If you're looking for what you're thinking, what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Heard of anything strange? See plenty of strange things top of the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly under your face. Mm. You're really standing here in front of me, or is this just another of the fog's tricks? <laughs> mm. Lives on Blackstone Isle. See a lot from up here, you know. Saw so that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. Dot to dot. I should go. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? Uh, it's difficult. It's really difficult. It's gotta be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake. What do you think? Should always keep moving forward. Moving along. I don't want to move along. I can't go back. I can't! She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about. Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I'll make a new place for myself out there. Be welcome to visit too. Yeah. Just stack it up at Steel Point, and you have anything, and it'll just—I'll just show up there and become an NPC. It's like not a big deal. So, no, you know what? I'll go to bed. 
I'll go to bed. Next time I get an engine upgrade, we are absolutely going ham. Ham, we are going to go so far away from this place. Oh, so that only shows up at night, huh? Fuck. Well, I really did a bad job. Oh, no. Spine broken with sharp angles when it hurts. So if it's sparkling with that glow, maybe this is the relics of that which we're being discussed. I hit it, you turkey. Mmm, getting shitty. Don't you star share bear. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Mm hmm. All right. <laughs> All right. So I want to just sneaky sneak my way in here. Sneaky sneaky sneak. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crashing endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone, shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruins, its purpose exhausted? Lighthouse towers above. All right, beep, beep, I'm backing up. Beep, beep, beep. Holden says this game is so satisfyingly meditative and creepy. Well, you know, I, I again, I think, Sheriff... Dude, this cat, she's breaking. So, do I, if I do sell all fish, it just goes away. Okay. Okay, so I need to, I learned that that guy pulls purple objects out of purple things. Didn't happen that way. I mean, maybe I screwed myself. Like, I don't know. Alright. Gons and Zeus's day night. I've been following you for about 10 years now. Dredge is my sister's game. Super proud of her and the team. Dude, that's amazing. This game rules. Because, like, one of the things about this, like, fishing mini game. And just the act of, like, get fish, sell stuff. Keep going. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to be dredging, huh? Sheriff. Alright, let's just let her meow it out. The, uh... thing about this game is that, like, this fishing minigame is satisfying. Building up and getting better equipment is satisfying. Great. But the mystery motivates me to keep going. This is not just merely I'm doing this to get a better, you know, ship for the sake of getting a better ship. I'm getting a better ship because I want to be able to go other places and get my questions answered. That's what I want to do. Hey. Oh, I can dredge this? Beep, beep. Backing up. Beep, beep. Search part. Oh shit, it's lumber. Whatever. And Fart's name, do we do that shit? I think what I need to do is I need to rotate some of these turkeys in here. Scared me. This stuff gets real freaky in this game. Ooh, 
Wasn't there a shipwreck here before? I'm gonna try to do some drifting. Mmm, fuck this boy. Ten percent more effectively. Nice. Right. Two pieces of lumber. Great. Oh, you want me to click on them? Sure. Arrow squid, one black grouper, but they're like nighttime babies. All right. Okay. F. All right, so. What? What is that? All right, so I, just, I guess I just want to sell all this stuff. So we need the other turkey across the town. Storage to storage to storage. Turn to town. Go to the ship, right? Fair. Arr. Now, I would love to have more engine space. Okay. And let's see here. So I go to my map. So this is where the little lady wants to build her stuff. And we have two lumbars. I don't remember what this thing is. Let me just go here. This is... All right, well, we're gonna just, we're just gonna end. Oh, okay. Uh, rest. Jumper Jordan 112 says that's one of the things that I think Dredge does really well, is that it has a fairly natural upgrade slash story progression, even if you don't follow the main story. Line. I basically ignored the main story slash quest line and was able to have a ton of fun and upgrade my ship like I wanted to. They don't hide anything required to progress after you get through the first few tutorial days. That's awesome. Fragging awesome. All right, it's the morning time. We're going to set out on a journey to go north this way. Although I did see a little sparkly warkly woo. Nope, not there anymore. All right, we're gonna go this way. So this looks like some stuff. F. Her. It's been depleted, sure. So this is where the little lady was saying that her stuff was. I'm going right past this. It might be your spot right there. Oh, a manta ray. Hell yeah. Oh, what is this shapely bizarro guy? Ah! Holy shit, how do you fit these guys around here? My ship sucks. All right, that's that. November says, Great Day 9 is still going. Top bloke. Oh my god, it's so good to have a, an English person joining us and using that sick kind of only in the UK language of top bloke. I, I feel so honored to have been called a top bloke. You know what they call you in California? They call you a cool dude, man. Uh, he's, he's a really good person. Oh yeah, he's great. Good dude. No, fucking top bloke. Ah! Oh. A strong, or excuse me, a one strong wooden hull is broken against the shoreline. The stern is completely breached. Beached. We're gonna breach the beached. Look around. What in fuck? Ah, oh, shit. Fuck rays, man. I want these metal scraps. I want the scraps. <gasps> uh oh. Fuck. 
return to these items later. Ah. Uh. All right, so we're, we're gonna return to these later. What we're primarily looking for is, oh, it's on this side. Mm. Dude, yeah, like, so my, my mate Tristan, my main mate Tristan, who is a top bloke, am I doing it well? Made this point about um, a Loop Hero, which is that it, it just has a whole bunch of known, really pleasant mechanics. You know, like tile-based grid building. You know, like uh, automatic combat, little basic leveling, you know, stuff like that. And the fact that it all kind of assembles in kind of a weird way is fine. It's completely fine. Because it's just, like, really pleasing. And, you know, I think a whole lot about how can mechanics kind of assemble together properly? How do they elegantly intertwine in way X, Y, Z, or the other? But, like, at the end of the day, there's a lot of mechanics that if you just include them, they just feel really pleasant. And they can be done well and poorly. Like, make no mistake about that. But, like, in this game... Just doing Tetris fish? I love doing Tetris fish. I love doing Tetris fish. Alright, let me... Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah, I love doing Tetris fishing. That shit's great. So, yeah, no, I, I just think it's lovely. I'm gonna say done. I'm gonna undock. Alright, let me... Here's what we're going to do. We are going to head back. We're going to grab this. We're going to go on a little mini break. We're going to go on a mini break. Three, four minutes, something like that. No, you know what? It's Friday. I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to take a five-minute break. All right, try to get in there. Do this. I'm going to head back to... Actually, I'm just going to head back over. Is my cargo hold? I don't have any way to do it better than this, huh? Alright, whatever. Alright, let me do the... Uh, uh, Alright. Alright, we're going back. This is the most responsible gaming I have ever done. This is alarming. Has Dana been scared yet? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fuck. And I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Boat drifting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like boat drifting, the fishing mini games, fish testress. It's great. And I think critically they layer on top of it this just really interesting, surreal mystery. Uh, ah, some deeper water fish. Oh yeah. Alright. So I'm gonna send this, this, this through. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little baby break for babies. I'm gonna take a little baby break for babies. And uh, when I return, we're gonna keep dredging. I'm gonna keep dredging and look at this. It's Friday. Why would I not? We're gonna go for a nice little five minute break. You know what I mean? Five minutes. I'll be right back. <laughs> 